I'm Robin. And I'm Lisa. Welcome to our November Zion Kid Zone. And this month, we want to talk to you about being thankful. Yes, and not just being thankful for one day, but being thankful for all year long. Yeah, but Robin, it's <laughs> been a tough year. Haven't you been paying attention? There's a pandemic going on. You're right, but there's always something to be thankful for. That's true. I'm thankful that this year we can celebrate with family, friends, and food. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. Can I try and guess your favorite Thanksgiving food? Sure. Pumpkin pie. Nope. Um, noodles. No way. How about mashed potatoes? Bingo! <laughs> mashed potatoes are my comfort food all the time. Well, let's talk about thankfulness using this potato. Okay. Okay. Let's think about this straw as your life. And the potato can be an obstacle that you encounter. Now, try and get the straw into the potato. Robin, it's not working. I'm not strong enough. Probably not. But I bet you could do it if you had Jesus' help. You think? Yes. Try again. This time, put your thumb over the end of the straw and we'll pretend that the straw is filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, like this? Like that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Went all the way through! That's exciting! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> all right. So this time, the potato obstacle wasn't a problem in your life at all. Not at all. Listen to this Bible verse. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumsta circumstances, and for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That's a great reminder to be thankful. Can I show you something else? Sure, I like that. Now let's start with this raw egg and this raw potato. Together, which one is harder and stronger? Well, the potato, of course. The egg can break easily, right? Right. But what happens when life gets to be a boiling mess? What do you mean? I mean, I took both an egg and a potato and I put them into a pot of boiling water. Wanna see what happened? I sure do. Well, I'll show you. Here's the egg. That sliced pretty easily, right? Right. And here's the potato. And look how easily that smashed. Oh, I get it now. What happens in hard times can make my heart hard. But if I'm thankful at all times, it can soften my heart. You got it. It's not so much about what happens to us in life, but like the egg and the potato that's in hot water, it's how we respond to those problems. So with the Holy Spirit in us, we can become soft-hearted and thankful, even if we find ourselves in hot water. Exactly. That's the lesson this month. If you have Jesus in your life, he can turn a heart as hard as a potato into a soft, warm heart that is tasty as mashed potatoes. Yum. And if we have that soft heart and the Holy Spirit inside us, then we can be thankful in all circumstances. You're right. You know what? What? I'm thankful for your friendship. Oh, me too, my friend. Thanks for joining us this month. And we'll see you in December. Let's end with a prayer. Dear God, Help us to be thankful in all things and to soften our hearts so that others can see you living in us. Amen. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us.